The Wyndham Chamber Singers have been doing some sort of holiday show for decades. It's a tradition, a tradition for the choir as well as for the community. Even though they cannot gather to perform this year, they are still putting together something special. We talked with Wyndham High School's Director of Choral Music, Rick Nickerson, who also leads the Chamber Singers, about their upcoming virtual concert. So many people have reached out to me during this pandemic to say, you know, we don't know what we're going to do this holiday season because the first weekend of December, we're always at Wyndham at your concert. I, I think that's why we knew the decision to do something right. was, was such an obvious decision. The event we're doing is virtual, obviously. Uh, and the, co the concert traditionally is called the American Family Holiday Concert. This year, we've renamed it to a Maine Family Holiday just because we want to recognize Maine's bicentennial. Mm. What started out as something that we thought might be 20, 25 minutes has turned into <laughs> a 90 minute, really a 90 minute special. If you look at the, the history of this particular concert, it, it was kind of based on the old time, like Andy Williams Christmas specials, where, you know, it was just all these little vignettes uh, piece, that were pieced together and was really about just that feeling around the month of December. As you're putting it together, tell me what the virtual show will look like. Well, the virtual show, uh, whenever the choir is singing, uh, we're using, I, I call it the tiled choir. And you've seen these videos all over the place where each singer submits an individual recording, uh, video and recording. And the, the, the challenge, of course, is lining not only the audio, but also the video lining that all up. The students have uh, been sending in like old uh, family photos from, from when they were younger, of mm -hmm. uh, them out playing in the snow and all these winter things. So it's, it's actually become very much like a Christmas card. The one positive uh, of this whole project is it had, it's kept the students engaged and it's kept me engaged as well. Uh, it, it, this is where I've put my energy. And you know, we, we, when this all started, we kind of had this mindset that we were going to focus on the things that we can do mm -hmm. rather than focusing on all the things we can't do. So by, by focusing on what we can do, it's really been kind of exciting. You were telling me about um, how special the Maine Christmas song is to your choir and to the state of Maine. Being the year that we're celebrating the bicentennial, it just see that that's the one piece that we just had to program. <laughs> You mentioned also there's going to be part of a performance, part of the show that includes alumni. Yes. And I was thinking about that aspect of it as it relates to it being virtual, because you probably yeah. could incorporate more alumni than maybe you could if the show were live. Absolutely. And that's been very exciting. Uh, one of the, uh, another tradition we have is the last piece we do each year is Oh Holy Night. And we have our own arrangement that was done especially for us. And because we do it every year, any alumni who are in the audience, we invite to come on stage. I put out this, uh, just this announcement. Uh, we have a, a pretty strong uh, alumni group out there. And just said, this is what I'd like to do uh, and, and hear the instructions. Ironically, their, their submissions were due last night. I woke up this morning and my inbox was just flooded. Uh, one of the, another thing we had asked them to do, uh, be, because we have alumni all over the world, is if they live somewhere where there's maybe some significant landmark, they could film themselves in front of ah. that landmark. And it is exciting to, to have these, uh, it's, to have students from all over the world that are contributing to this. And, you know, we would not have been able to do this 20 years ago. It's, it's been so much fun uh, putting this together. Uh, and I, I can't believe it's here because this is, this is a project that started last summer. And that's the thing being a choir director. We're thinking about Christmas in the middle of July. But I hope we never have to do uh, this again. This was, this was nice for a one-time thing. Now, Rick said that learning to edit the choir pieces together was a trial by fire, but he did it. The Wyndham Chamber Singers virtual concert will air this Saturday, December 5th, on the Wyndham Chamber Singers YouTube channel. It is free. You don't have to sign up in advance. The concert will begin at 730. We will have all the information in the 207 section of our website and mobile app.